suppose sir uh, i'm having a circuit like this what is the nature of the circuit parallel two resistances are in parallel two resistances are in parallel that's why current through this is i1 and current through this is i2 let us assume that total current is i the potential applied is v this is identical to this circuit this is the pump this is identical to this Two hand valves are there. One is V1, another one is V2. The flow rate through this uh, valve is Q1. Flow rate, flow rate through this valve is Q2. Total flow rate is Q. This we can imagine. Total water flow rate is Q. So many 10 liters per hour. So suppose uh, the total liquid flow rate because of this pump is uh, 10 liters per hour. Let us assume that uh, this, through this uh, valve one, six liters per hour means, uh, six liters per hour means, uh, definitely what is the flow rate through this? Four liters, four liters per hour. This is obvious. The same here, if you know the total current, uh, if you know the total current, uh, suppose total current is five ampere, Current through the first part is 3 ampere means definitely what is the current through this? 2 ampere because these two are in parallel. Another one is already we have seen that uh, this pump is developing a pressure difference across these two ends. Between 1 and 2 it uh, develops a pressure difference. That's why there is a flow rate. Flow rate is uh, like this through this, again through this, again through this and all are collected and coming here. Now, the pressure at this point, let us assume that there is no pressure drop up to this point because there is no resistance. We are assuming that uh, the pipe uh, is uh, ideal pipe. There is no resistance in the pipe. That's why there is no pressure drop. The pressure at this point is maintained up to this point. So pressure here is say P, P, P means uh, here also the pressure is P. Here also the pressure is P. Am I correct or not? Because uh, um, at uh, let us call this point as A, this point as B, both A and B, there is no resistance. Between A and B, there is no resistance. Only cube and it has no resistance. That's why there is no pressure drop. So suppose uh, the pressure P is here means here also P, here also P. Here the pressure is zero means uh, here also zero, here also zero. That's why pressure across this uh, valve is P. Pressure across this is P. In the same way, here the applied voltage is, uh, sorry, uh, applied voltage is V means the voltage across the resistance R1 is V as well as the voltage across R2 also V. That's why in the parallel circuit, this is an um, analogy for uh, electric circuit. This is uh, um, the electric the pump system analogy to this uh, electrical circuit here the both the valve experience the same pressure in the same way here both resistance are experiencing the same voltage drop same uh, voltage drop across two resistance so this is analogy for parallel circuit suppose i am having another uh, circuit this is looking like this one resistance, another resistance, they are connected in series. Both resistances are connected in series. Applied voltage is V. 
for this uh, the pump system is this one hand wall another hand wall another hand wall v1 and v2 again it is connected here this is identical to this uh, the analogy to this uh, circuit electrical circuit here the pressure developed by this pump is p here one resistance that's why partial pressure is dropped p1 the yeah, pressure is dropped here that's why pressure is reduced while reaching v2 that pressure is p minus p1 that is p2 say p2 definitely pressure will be different not equal here if you apply a voltage of v means the voltage drop across r1 is v1 the voltage drop across v2 uh, r2 is v2 you know that uh, <coughs> suppose uh, both valves are completely open let us assume that uh, let us assume that uh, now the total flow rate is 10 liters per hour so both valves are completely open 10 liters per hour suppose i am closing v2 partially what will happen flow rate is reduced to 5 liters per hour what is the flow rate through v1 what is the flow rate through v1 i i am not touching v1 i modified v2 i closed v2 partially because of that flow rate is reduced from 10 liters per hour to 5 liters per hour what is the flow rate through v1 say oh the remaining 5 liters where it will go remaining 5 liters where will go both valves will have equal flow rate there 10 liters per hour is reduced total flow rate is reduced to 5 liters per hour 5 liters per hour 5 liters per hour because i closed v2 partially that's why flow rate is reduced means flow rate through v1 also reduced i understand that flow rate is identical to current water flow rate is identical to current if suppose both valves are completely open i am partially closing v1 resistance is increased that's why flow rate is reduced to 5 liters per hour means what is the flow rate through v2 5 liters per hour in the same way suppose the total current is 2 ampere means current through r1 is 2 ampere current through r2 also 2 ampere only to so understand that i am explaining this to so understand that if they are in series two valves are in series flow rate in first valve as well as flow rate in second valve are equal this is you can easily imagine so current will be equal if they are in series voltage drop across them will be different what is voltage drop what is applied voltage the battery is developing some pressure like pump develops some pressure means like that it develops some pressure part of pressure is dropped here and the remaining pressure is dropped here now it becomes zero here itself it becomes zero after p2 it becomes zero in the same way you are applying say 5 volt applying 5 volt 3 volt is dropped across v1 3 volt is dropped across v1 means what is the voltage drop across r2 definitely 2 volt at this point the voltage becomes zero what is the voltage at this point what is the voltage at this point 2 voltage at this point is 2 what is the voltage at this point what is the voltage at a 5 volt 5 volt there is no drop here it is 5 volt 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 up to this point up to a it is 5 volt only no drop at all because it is conductor ideal conductor while calculating we are thinking that the conductor doesn't drop any voltage so up to a it is 5 volt only at b what is the voltage 3 volt is dropped across r1 
That's why at point B, what is the voltage? 2 volt. The 2 volt is dropped across R2. That's why at point C, what is the voltage? 0 volt. I think now you understand. So in series circuit, voltage will be gradually fall. In a parallel circuit, voltage will be equal, but current will be different. So you, you have to imagine like this. Voltage is like pressure in a water circuit. Current is like flow rate, liquid flow rate. Liquid flow rate. So now, coulombs per second current is. So it is flow rate. How many liters per hour with respect to time we have to tell. So they are I, 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 they are identical. They are identical. I think you understand both. If uh, these two are in parallel, these two are in series. Suppose I'm having, uh, <clears throat> I think any, any doubt in this part? No doubt. So in a series circuit, current will be equal. Voltage will be Voltage drop will be different. In a parallel circuit, voltage will be equal. Current will be different. Now, <clears throat> this is R1. This is R2. Applied voltage is V. I am finding an equivalent circuit that gives the same amount of uh, that gives uh, same amount of uh, current total current that resistance is called r equivalent i am replacing r1 r2 by r equivalent suppose uh, current through this is uh, 2 ampere means uh, 2 ampere means here also 2 ampere same current here I am giving 5 volt means here also 5 volt I am giving. For that it experience, it gives a 2 ampere total current. Here also 2 ampere. That's why this resistance is called R equivalent of parallel combination of R1 and R2. R equivalent is parallel combination of R1. Uh, sorry, R equivalent is the, uh, equal to parallel combination of R1 and R2. How to find that? What is uh, current through this I1? Am I correct or not? What is current through this I2? What is total current? I. So I can write I equal to I1 plus I2. By Ohm's law, how I can write uh, I1? Uh, v. But it is parallel circuit. There is no V1, V2. V only. A parallel circuit, that's why voltages are equal. That's why V by, I can write V by R1 plus V by R2. That is equal to I. Or I can say V multiplied by 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. I equal to. Let it be 1. I said it is equivalent circuit. That's why this I equal to V divided by R equivalent. Am I correct or not? Here, here also same current. Current is equal. That current is equal to V by R equivalent. Am I correct? Or not? Because this resistance is equal to R1, R2. This is 2. From 1 and 2, both currents are equal because both circuits are similar. That's why similar effect. That's why I can equate 1 and 2. Therefore, V multiplied by 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 equal to V by R equivalent. V getting cancelled. Therefore, 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 equal to 1 by R equivalent. If you want to find R equivalent means we have to take inverse of R1 and R2, add, then find again inverse. In Calci, up to uh, how to operate this? But uh, you you might have studied like this R1, R2. If you take LCM, then you will get uh, R2 plus R1 equal to 1 by R equivalent. This implies R equivalent equal to R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Am I correct or not? 
instead of doing like this you can quickly you can you can stop here and you can find the r equivalent directly if you use calci how to operate press r1 suppose 5 r1 equal to 5 r1 equal to 5 r2 also equal to 5 press 5 first inverse x inverse what you will get there 1 by 5 plus again press 5 press x inverse what you will get there 1 by 5 if you press equal to what you will get there 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 some you will get there. now again you got 1 by something you got now you press x again x inverse what, what you will get r equivalent you will get Have you understand this you get any number of resistance in parallel means in calci what you have to do is that number x inverse plus that number r1 x inverse plus r2 x inverse plus r3 x inverse finally you have to press equal to equal to if you press you will get one by something you will get so again the answer once you got the answer again press x inverse equal to x inverse again you have to press equal if you press equal to what you will get there r equivalent you will get no need to use this formula and all i understand this therefore in a calc r equivalent equal to r1 press the value r1 means value x inverse plus press x inverse plus r2 x inverse then press equal you will get something say x uh, x you got hmm? again this is answer sorry this is answer if you press uh, equal to you will get answer again you have to press x inverse again equal to you will get the r equivalent any number of resistances suppose you are having fine quickly you can calculate by using r equivalent suppose there are three resistances what is the r equivalent r equivalent equal to 1 by r equivalent equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 no need to simplify you write this formula and directly you write r equivalent you can find directly suppose in the another circuit what i am having is two resistances are in series two resistances are in series the applied voltage is v here the resistance is r1 and this is r2 we know that potential drop across r1 is v1 potential drop across r2 is v2 because it is series circuit current is equal but voltage is different that's why oh, here the potential drop is v1 here the potential drop is v2 the total drop is v therefore we can write v equal to v1 plus v2 by ohms law v1 equal to what current is i because series set put therefore i r1 i r1 plus i r2 v equal to that is equal to i multiplied by r1 plus r2 let it be 1 suppose i am finding an equivalent set put that gives the same effect but instead of one resi two resistances i am using only one resistance r equivalent what you will get what is the current i the voltage is applied voltage is v current through this is i r equivalent therefore v equal to what i multiplied by r equivalent r equivalent let it be 2 let it be 2 from 1 and 2 we can equate right hand side therefore i multiplied by r1 plus r2 equal to r i r equivalent i getting cancelled therefore r1 plus r2 equal to r equivalent this circuit also having the same amount of current that's why it is r equivalent suppose three resistances are there we have to add that's all 